Okay, so right below these storage panels on each side of the machine, these is a 16 button keypad, 16 button plus a yellow button, which is a horn uh, from this station here, from the lower operator station, right? The only thing that we can do with this horn is alert the operator. The operator has a horn button up there, which will sound at the end of the conveyor. But we don't want to do that from down here because sometimes the operator uses that horn to signal the truck of when to pull ahead or stop. Okay, so this one here only alerts the operator. It's but communication between the ground man and the operator. Next, we have leg controls, right? Leg controls are very important. Uh, this is our, if you notice, it's whited out. If the, the icon is whited out, that means that's what it controls. So this particular one controls the left front leg. This one controls the right front leg. This one controls the rear two legs. And this one controls all legs up and down. So we can simply up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. These two control the side plate on the left-hand side. I happen to be on the left-hand side of the machine. This is a uh, four function switch, right? On our side plates on Caterpillar machines, we have four functions, power up, power down, float, and hold. Very, very important. Um, right, right back here, we have our rear mole board, okay? This, again, four functions, power up, power down, float, and hold. Next to that, we have rear steer. Normally, the, the operator, the top operator will do this, but we put it down here to help the crew as a whole get around obstacles, getting around manholes, things like that where he can't see it. I can see it down here as a ground guy. We can, this one controls our water flow. As you know, water is very important on our rotors, right? So we have to turn it, we can turn it on or off if the, if the top operator forgets to do it, we can turn it on here. If I have happened to use these buttons uh, for the operator to get around an obstacle, and I don't know exactly where straight is, I can hit this button, it'll turn the tracks straight forward, okay? The next and last one we have on this keypad is an E stop. E stands for emergency. It is not a parking brake. If you hit this button, the machine is going to stop immediately. It is used for emergencies. It's not a parking brake, so stop. I also want to point out one more thing. Right here we have two uh, plugins, right? This one is for our grade and slope display. Below it, we have another one where we can put a sonic sensor. Like we talked about earlier, this machine is uh, uh, capable of running sonic averaging, right? So we can have a sonic sensor in the back, we can run off the side plate in the middle, and a sonic sensor in the front. What's that going to do for us? It's going to give us a smooth ride before that paver gets there.